You first met the bigger staffs here on Good Morning Jacksonville back in June. An Air Force veteran and his wife of 61 years now separated due to the coronavirus and mandates restrictions put in place by the state when it comes to people living in nursing homes and visits. Right now, there are countless families all across our state suffering because of these restrictions. They're watching as their loved one's health is failing amid the pandemic and they can't be with them. But it's not just their physical health as elderly people that's a concern. Their mental health is also at stake. Cindy Luton says her mother, Inez Biggerstaff, is now being given medication for depression and anxiety. Colonel Biggerstaff is not inside of a nursing home, but because his wife is, he can't see her. And Luton tells us that he's not eating and he's lost weight. She says he often asks, why are they doing this to us? I am an RN. I completely understand and actually agree that we need to protect them. However, to completely ignore their mental health issues, mental health needs, it, it's barbaric. You just heard from their daughter, Cindy Luton. She sent a letter to the governor's office and following our inquiry into that letter, she says she got a response from DeSantis's office in June. She now believes it was an empty promise that they'd look into her letter and request for the elderly couple to be safely reunited because four weeks later, they are still apart. We're on the verge of find, opening our schools because even the governor recognized the mental isolation that a lot of the students and the mental health effects that these students are feeling. Why hasn't this country placed the same significance on finding a method for the elderly to have company? The nursing home where Inez Biggerstaff lives initially planned to put a tent outside to allow the couple to see each other face to face, but uh, the scorching temperatures put those plans on hold for now. Now, I reached back out to the governor's office just yesterday to find out if there is a plan in place to address the mental health issues of people in nursing homes right now amid this pandemic, and I have not yet heard back.